I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Good morning, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday the 6th and our sixth day of Vlogmas. Um, I have been up for a little bit, believe it or not, I'm just so puffy looking. Um, I did some skincare, brushed my teeth. Um, I've been trying to drink more water in the morning. Um, but I'm our church enzyme just came in the mail and our church sends out magazines. Um, so I think I'm gonna sit here and read that just to get me in kind of a Sunday mindset. It's always hard without being able to actually go to church. So I'm gonna look at that for a little bit and then get ready. And on Sundays we hang out at my parents' house all day. One of the articles is in the um, enzyme is the power of prayer in prison and it is about a woman who the woman who wrote it was in prison for 10 years for real estate fraud um, and she said that all of her neighbors were really respectful at the time um, went like her neighbor, her cell, the people in the cells next to her. Um, but then some women were placed in the cells across the hall from her and they were really loud at night and played loud music and didn't really care, um, about how their actions affected others basically. Um, and so her roommates in her cell asked her to go I think it was her roommate. Let me see. Yeah, her roommates asked her to talk to them and she knew that those conversations don't normally go well. So she decided to pray for them instead. And during the prayer, she realized that she didn't, had not tried to make these people her friends or get to know them at all. So the next day she went over and talked to them and they shared pictures of their families and got to know each other. And over time, um, they became more respectful of each other and didn't play loud music. And they even apologized for the loud music they had played. And on Christmas Eve one year, they all decided to get together and they were gonna eat tuna fish and potato chips for dinner and then share spiritual experiences because it was Christmas Eve. And one of them shared an experience that when they were 14, she, her mother had died of a drug overdose. Um, and then she basically was homeless. Um, and then she had a baby by the time she was 15 and she had drug addiction and was selling drugs. So she put her baby up for adoption um, and she asked herself if the world would even know if she was gone because no one even knew she was in prison. So she just wondered why she was even alive and how she, how it would make a difference if she was dead. So she prayed, um, and asked God if he knew who she was and the following week, a counselor of the prison handed her a letter from the girl she had placed for adoption. So the little girl that she had when she was 15 had written her a letter and now they write each other letters and her daughter has even visited her. 
Um, so that's, that was a really sweet story. Um, I love that she was, it was confirmed to her that quickly that it would make a difference if she wasn't here. Because it would make a difference to that little girl. So, I really liked that. Uh, it's called The Power of Prayer in Prison by Portia Louder. Thanks for listening. Going to make some breakfast. Daniel just let the dogs out again. Um, I'm gonna make some eggs and then some of these grand's biscuits. music thing just when we I just want something on in the background and it's so magical I love it getting very raw with you all on this channel clearly since I look ridiculous right now but just got out of the shower um this is a really random time to shower but some days are weird so. um I don't blow dry my hair on um basically unless I absolutely have to, like if I have to be somewhere. So even though it's cold outside, I'm going to be going to my mom's house with wet hair because my hair does so much better when it dries, when it air dries all on its own. Um, where's the hairbrush? Although I don't post for all of my clients every day, um, all the schedules aren't the same. So some clients get a Sunday post in. Basically, I don't have a day where no posts go up, but it's fine because I have my um, schedule down pretty well that I still get some like no phone time for myself. But today is, a, it's usually every other Sunday is a really light work today, work day. And today is one of those Sundays. Oh my gosh. Um, I already put on skincare, but honestly, the shower dries my face out so much from cleansing and stuff. So I'm gonna put it on again. And it's so cold outside that I think I should. on the Bliss Cream to Water Hydrating for All Day Moisturizer and then Neo Cutis Lumiere Firm, which is the Neo, the newest Leo, Leo, the newest Neo Cutis Eye Cream. I really like it. Hi, baby. Look how long my natural lashes are getting. That is like never happened for me we're in the car we're gonna go to my mom's like i said it's actually a little later than i thought it's one almost one o'clock uh, so we're gonna go to my mom's house and um honestly probably be there till like nine or ten o'clock tonight because that's what we do like every single sunday um yeah, just sundays I, just well every other day but sundays we spend the whole day look at my eyelashes I think anybody else is Probably not. I feel like we're the only people who like are obsessed with our parents. 
it just really works out because my husband is like besties with my stepdad. So of course I want to spend time with my mom. That's when you know you guys are soulmates. So yeah, that's basically all we're doing today. But I'll try and make this vlog interesting. Oops. So my mom's house and we're watching this movie called The Lie. It has Joey King in it. And so far it's pretty good, but unfortunately I already know the ending, so that sucks. But someone's spelled it on TikTok, but it's still seems to be a good movie. Um I would watch it. Don't look up spoilers though, because it'll be even better if you don't know what's gonna happen. It, it said to record what you discover and uh, consider sharing it, sharing with someone what you find valuable. The whole, the gift of the Holy Ghost and the blessings of gathering with fellow believers to keep each other al relying alone upon the merits of Christ. He would be brought as a lamb to the slaughter. The shepherd. I'm home now and I um, thought today's vlog was going to be very short until I edited it and it's like already over 10 minutes um, but I posted on my Instagram story and I was like today's vlogmas is going to be kind of boring so let's do a Q&A. Turns out it wasn't that boring <laughs> um, but I'm still going to answer the questions I got. Um, so the first question is what's been your fave collab and why? I probably should have thought about this for a second. Um, but one that I was probably the most excited to receive the, the um, pitch for was for um, Allegiant Airlines. Do you think that was the one I was most excited for? Yeah. That one was just really cool. Um, they messaged us. It was like this time last year that they messaged us um, for a trip in January to Sarasota and uh, it was, everything was paid for and we stayed at a really awesome hotel and um, I was just super excited that they uh, reached out to me. Okay, the next question is, what's the worst gift you've ever been given? And the best. Um, crap. The worst gift I've ever been given. One time I was given PJs that were like three sizes too big for me. And I honestly thought that was kind of offensive. <laughs> um, the best gift I've ever been given. A very meaningful gift I was given was my mom gave me a bumblebee necklace. And she always calls me baby bee. I really liked that, but that wasn't really for anything specific. She just kind of gave it to me. Okay. Next question is, what's your favorite Christmas activity? And I, I, my family never does anything very specific, um, but I really love, last year we went on a really late night drive to go look at um, Christmas lights and we were all squished in, in uh, my parents' um, SUV is it weird to say SUV? I don't know why I said that. We were in their car. Um, and uh, I really liked that. I listened to Christmas music. But, like, my favorite, the thing I look forward to the most is, ooh, my posture was very terrible. I was just like. Carly is back because I lost, like, four of those questions because my phone stopped recording. So, I'm very sorry. If you ask me a question, I will just either respond on Instagram story or respond to you directly. Sorry. I'm the worst, but I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's currently, sh currently, it's currently shut off. So. This quality is going to look different because I have to use my work phone because my other phone is not recording anymore because it's dying. Um, but the thing I look forward to the most about Christmas is definitely like having Christmas tree up and cuddling my husband on the couch and watching Christmas movies with my dogs. I know it's really blah, but uh, that's the facts. Daniel, it says my phone is full of storage. How is that possible? Well, you probably didn't delete it. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Um, Last question, I remember this because she messaged it to me instead of it putting it in the question and answer form. She was basically answering, how, asking me how um, she can make sure that 
I or other influencers she follows can get credit for the things she buys if she doesn't buy it as soon as they post it. Um, and my recommendation for that is just to always message them and be like, hey, a few months ago you posted this product. Do you have a link or do you have a promo code? Um, usually if they have a link, they'll send you an affiliate link, which will get them credit and will let the brand know who um, referred the product. Um, or the promo code will also do the same. And if they don't have either of those, then they probably weren't sponsored or maybe their campaign is over and it doesn't matter or something. But I would just always message them and let them know. So yeah, this is going to be the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 6. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. I have no clue what Daniel and I are going to do because we don't have work tomorrow, like out and about. I have normal work, but yeah, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Truthfully Charlie. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about.